Live streaming to a single destination is a commonly practiced method for sharing content with an online audience. It involves broadcasting their content to one platform, such as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn or Twitch, to engage with their audience in real time. While this approach is well established, there are instances where streaming to multiple destinations simultaneously can provide significant benefits. By expanding the streaming reach across multiple platforms, content creators can tap into larger and more diverse audiences, amplify their online presence, and increase engagement with their content. However, achieving this goal typically requires the use of paid services that specialize in multi-destination streaming. These services streamline the process by handling the distribution of the live stream to various platforms. However, the downside of utilizing third-party services for multi-destination streaming is the significant financial burden, particularly for those live streaming low-budget events. The solution lies in creating your own personal multi-destination streaming server. In this tutorial, we will provide a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how to build your own custom multi-destination streaming server. Say goodbye to expensive services and hello to full control over your streaming setup. Let's get started. Before diving into the project, there are a few prerequisites you'll need to have in place. Raspberry Pi. Ensure you have a Raspberry Pi already set up and running. Follow the official setup guide for Raspberry Pi or watch our previous video on setting up your Raspberry Pi. Find the links in the description. Basic familiarity with command line. This project involves executing commands in the terminal or command prompt. Familiarize yourself with basic command line operations to follow along smoothly. Step 1. Install Raspberry Pi OS. We are going to use a Raspberry Pi 4B for this project. For the ease of connections we have put the Raspberry Pi in an Argon 1B2 case. You can watch our previous video where we have done unboxing and setup of this case. Please note that the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS has removed OMX Player, which is a crucial component for this tutorial. The download link for the previous version of Raspberry Pi OS can be found in the description below. Visit the link and look for the section titled Raspberry Pi OS Lite Legacy. Click on the download link. Once it's downloaded install the Raspberry Pi OS on SD card using Raspberry Pi Imager. Select Custom Image in OS section and choose the downloaded image file. Write the image to SD card, insert it into Raspberry Pi, and proceed with setup. Step 2. Install Nginx on Raspberry Pi. Before proceeding with the installation of Nginx, it's important to configure the video mode to determine the signal type that will be transmitted through the Raspberry Pi's HDMI port. To do this, you'll need to modify Raspberry Pi's config.txt file in text editor. This can be done by running following command, sudo nano slash boot slash config.txt. We need to change the following text in the file. These may be commented out with a hash so you can delete that character to uncomment the line and or type them inside the file to make the necessary changes. We had given a link below with all the instructions and commands for your reference. To save the file, press Ctrl plus X and then Y to confirm the save. To grant Nginx permission to use the video port, execute the following command, sudo usermod ag video www data. To use Nginx as the RTMP server and connect OMX player to play the stream over the HDMI port, we need to install the required software. Start by updating the package lists using the following command. Once the update is complete, Install OMX Player, Nginx, and the RTMP module by running the following command. This will install the necessary software components for our setup. To set up an RTMP server in Nginx, you'll need to edit the main Nginx configuration file. Open the file using the nano text editor with administrative privileges by running the following command, sudo nano slash etc slash nginx slash nginx.com. This will open the Nginx file in the nano editor, allowing you to make changes to the configuration. Scroll to the bottom of the text file and paste the following text. To save the file after making changes, press Ctrl plus X and then Y to confirm the save. To check the configuration file for any errors, 
use the command sudo nginx t. If there are no errors, you can reload nginx to apply the changes by running sudo nginx s reload. At this stage, your Raspberry Pi is set up to receive RTMP streams within the local network. This means that you can stream to the Raspberry Pi from any video streaming device or software encoder, such as OBS. You can stream to the Raspberry Pi using the RTMP URL. The format of the URL is RTMP, colon, double forward slash, your Raspberry Pi IP address, colon 1935, forward slash, live. You can give any name to your stream key. Step 3, running Nginx on Raspberry Pi. To test the installation of the Nginx server and stream from OBS to your Raspberry Pi, begin by connecting the Raspberry Pi to a monitor and powering it on. Open OBS on your laptop and navigate to the settings. In the stream settings of OBS, make sure to update the RTMP URL and key for your Nginx server. This information was obtained during Nginx server setup in previous step. Choose a video source in OBS, such as a webcam or pre-recorded video. Start the streaming process by clicking the Start Streaming button in OBS. After a few seconds, you should see the live feed appearing on the monitor connected to your Raspberry Pi. This allows you to verify the successful installation of the Nginx server and test the streaming functionality by sending a live stream from OBS to your Raspberry Pi. Step 4. Configuring Nginx for Multi-Destination Streaming Now that Nginx is set up and tested on your Raspberry Pi, we can move on to the next step, configuring multiple streaming destinations for your streams. With this setup, you have the capability to send your stream to multiple platforms simultaneously. In our demonstration, we will configure the Raspberry Pi to stream to both YouTube and Facebook at the same time. To enable streaming to multiple destinations, you'll need to make changes to the Nginx configuration file on your Raspberry Pi. This involves updating the streaming destinations for YouTube and Facebook. But before proceeding to edit the file we need to have the streaming details of both YouTube and Facebook handy. To do this, you'll have to log in to your YouTube and Facebook accounts to obtain the respective streaming keys and URLs. To obtain the YouTube stream key and URL for live streaming, open a web browser and sign into your YouTube account. On YouTube dashboard, click on the camera icon and create a new live stream by clicking Go Live. Provide a title and description for your stream. Take note of the displayed stream URL and stream key. Copy both the stream URL and key and save it on text document. To obtain the Facebook stream key and URL for live streaming, open a web browser and sign into your Facebook account. Then, go to your Facebook page or profile where you want to stream the video. Click on the Live button to start setting up your live stream. In the Live producer, select Go Live. Under Video Source choose Streaming Software option. Copy and save the stream key and click Advanced Options section. Toggle on Persistent Stream Key. Copy and save the server URL. Once you have obtained the stream URL and the stream key for YouTube and Facebook, you need to update your Nginx configuration file accordingly. Here is the format for adding the push directives for YouTube and Facebook in the Nginx configuration file. Scroll all the way to the bottom and update the following lines in the code we updated in the previous steps. Next, we need to update the stream key for both YouTube and Facebook in the RTMP push link. Replace the respective spaces in the code with the saved stream keys from YouTube and Facebook. Copy and paste the stream keys into their respective positions. Once done press Ctrl X and then Y to save the file. Step 5. Facebook Live Additional Settings Facebook made some changes a little while back to only accepts RTMPS streams which Nginx and the RTMP can't natively support. So, another jigsaw piece needs to be added to the puzzle. 
Enter S-Tunnel. To install S-Tunnel run the following command. Open S-Tunnel boot configuration file using following command. Edit the S-Tunnel boot configuration as follows. Change enable from 0 to 1. Open S-Tunnel config with following command. Edit the S-Tunnel config as follows. Copy and paste the following text in the file. Enable S-Tunnel and start it using following commands. Lastly, start streaming from OBS to your Nginx server running on the Raspberry Pi. The stream will now be sent to both Facebook and YouTube simultaneously, allowing you to reach your audience on both platforms at the same time. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share it with others. Your support means a lot to us.